the St. Paul Farmers Market, and this is the first episode of the new SPNN web series, Market. Market will bring you a new episode each week throughout the 2012 growing season. We'll bring you stories about organic vegetables, grass-fed beef, free-range chickens, immigrant farmers, national award-winning cheese, cooking demonstrations, market recipes, and much, much more. Each week from June until October, we'll bring you the St. Paul Farmers Market. We want you to get excited about the food we have here in downtown St. Paul. It's locally grown food brought to you by local farmers. It's healthy and really delicious. So come on, let's take a tour. All the stuff is going to fall out. Look at this. Asparagus season. This is the time. Get it while the getting is good. Let's go backwards because I'm going to get it done. You get Plenty of hanging plants to bring spring inside. These are so beautiful. You know they're really good and really, really fresh because the, the, the shells are really hard to crack. And the yolk is just this bright orange color. Radishes. They're a dollar a bunch. A dollar a bunch. Mm -hmm. Are they spicy this year? They're pretty mild yet. Oh, they're pretty mild. Yep. When when do they start getting spicy? Um, uh, as the weather gets hotter, they'll get spicier. I'm gonna come back for those. I like spicy radishes. Spring dug parsnips. I'll tell you a secret. These are actually sweeter than parsnips that you'll get in the fall. They're unbelievable. And I think it's gonna be a long, long time Till touchdown brings me around again to find I'm not the man I think I am at home Oh, no, no, no Yeah, I'm a rocket man Rocket man Burning out his fuse up here And we have brats from Bar 5. What's your new brat this year? Our new brat this year is called the Appalicious. It's made with dehydrated Granny Smith apples and cheddar cheese. We also have our Fiesta brat, which is made with red and green bell peppers, onions, and garlic. Are these chicken, you said? These are all chicken brats. All right. All natural, good for you, and healthy. <laughs> Thanks. Can't wait to try those. today. I'm going over here. Hi there. Hi there. How much is your honeycomb? Uh, that honeycomb now there is a man to talk to right here. He knows everything <laughs> about the honey. Talk to the man with a bee on his head. Oh, okay. Those are $5 because they're not, they're usually seven seventy five, but these aren't quite big enough. Yeah. All right, these are so good. You can actually chew on the comb, kind of like gum. It's delicious. Cilantro, sage, mint, marjoram. This is actually really good with the wild rice. Green onions. Garlic chives. And my personal favorite, the mung bean sprouts.
I'm standing here with Jack Gurton, the man in charge at the St. Paul Farmer's Market. And Jack, I have a really important question for you. How do I pay for all this stuff? Well, we accept cash checks and we also accept market coinage. You come up to the market tent, which is on the upper part of the market, and if you have a credit card or a debit card, you can swipe it and get market money. It's $5 a chip, and you can use them around the market just like cash. At the end of the day, if you have any market money left, we can credit your charge card or debit card, and you're ready to go. So we never let you run out of money. You can come and buy in many different ways. That's great. Thanks, Jack. You bet. Eichten's has really amazing cheese and cheese spreads that are so addictive you would not believe. This, these cheese spreads are amazing. She's walking through the cloud like a circus child. So that concludes our tour for the day. But to really get a sense of the St. Paul Farmers Market, you'll have to come down and check it out for yourselves someday on a Saturday or Sunday. Grab yourself a nice cup of coffee, walk around, meet new people, and just enjoy yourself. Here's a tip. If you come between 6 and 8 a.m. or 11 and 1 p.m., you'll have a much easier time with parking. I suggest the 6 to 8 a.m. time because that way you're, you'll ensure that you get all the good food before it's gone. So we'll be back next week with another episode. And until next time, eat good food. Mm -hmm.